Alright guys, um, here's a couple other things I've been meaning to get to, I just really haven't had the chance, but um, one thing is um, visual voicemail on the Samsung Captivate. Now, um, it's uh, you can't get the voicemail through AT&T so far that I know of, so um, the solution is to use Google Voice. Now it's free, they did open it up to the public, so you go to google.com slash voice, right? And um, it's provided by Google, they actually give you a phone number. And it's a pretty cool service, um, if you go to the website they'll tell you more about it, but essentially it's, um, it's a phone number that they give you, and um, you could program it per phone number, so like, let's say if you have your parents call you or something, you put manually type their phone number in there and you could um, you know redirect their phone call to a specific phone or um, redirect uh, them to a phone based on the time of the day or something like that um, so let's say if um, you just give someone your Google Voice number and you're working so when you're at work when someone calls your Google Voice number your work phone would ring and then um, you could program it so when you're back home your cell phone could ring from the Google Voice number or your house phone, whichever. You could, there's a lot of things you could do with about it. But um, go on Google Voice and find out more about the specifics. But what I really want to cover is how to use Google Voice to get visual voicemail on your phone. Um, so after you sign up um, to get the Google Voice account, um, you go to the Android market, which, um, you know, you go to market. And then you're going to search for Google Voice. Pretty simple. So when you do find Google Voice, you're going to go ahead and install that on your phone. Now you don't need to be um, have root access or anything like that. It's a normal application that will install. Um, so I'm searching here. So you see a bunch of results. Um, Google Voice is the first one. Make sure you get the one from Google Inc. So it's the first one. So I have it installed already. And um, see if you can read here. You know, places, calls and uh, send text messages so when you're showing your Google number listen to voicemail and read transcripts so this is pretty cool so when someone calls and leaves a voicemail <clears throat> um, you get sent an email um, and it basically translates your whole voice message into text so it's pretty cool because after someone you know goes to my voicemail I get a email and it's basically everything that was just said and um, it's pretty cool, you know. If you don't want to really listen to everything, you you know you get the text and you're like, oh okay, okay. It works pretty good, you know. Um, if the people speak clear enough, it translates really well. Um, but you know, I've seen some funny, <laughs> funny messages. Um, so once you're all installed and you uh, you know you just you link it to your Google account. So after um, you get the app and everything, I got the icon on my desk, my uh, my desktop. <laughs> on my main screen over here so and you can see I have a uh, you know a bunch of calls and it's pretty cool so over here they even show you the the um, the text from the from the voicemail um, you can select any one of them you click on it and uh, bam you can play and everything this is running kinda of slow today Doo -doo -doo. so so this is what it kinda of looks like so you could play the voice message. Mm -hmm. That's running slow. Anyways, so um, the pretty cool thing is that uh, because Google made it, um, when you install, you could actually override the the normal voice uh, voicemail system on here. So when someone calls your regular cell phone number, it will redirect to the Google Voice number and record on the voicemail. So, it's a complete solution. You will get rid of your AT&T voicemail, although it's still going to be on your account. It's just going to be skipped over, and um, all your calls are going to be saved with Google. The other cool thing is you don't have to use your cell phone to listen to them. You could actually go on to Google Voice on their website and listen to all of them through there. You could download them. You could forward all your messages. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, but that's my solution to... Uh, visual voicemail because I went from an iPhone to this and oh, well after visual voicemail there's nothing else so um, so uh, I wish I could show you more things but just a pretty broad overview of what it is 
Um, I'll put some links in there. If you have any questions, I'll definitely be able to help you guys. Also, I am looking for a lot more suggestions to uh, any other tutorials that you actually want me to do. Um, I haven't really done too much. I have a bunch of ideas. I just really haven't had the time to uh, sit down and, and work on them. But tonight, I'm bringing you some good stuff. Um, I got a couple other things in the works. So, just subscribe, keep checking back, and, uh, you know, let me know how everything goes. Alright, guys, take it easy.